Blake here again. Let me catch you all up to speed. It was the last day of summer. I was just minding my own business trying to finish my comic book when this hockey ball came out of nowhere and gave me a giant goose egg. Well, at least my sister Bree was there to have my back. And it hit that post and it bounced off that tree and then it went bam right in your face. <laughs> and the best part, I got the whole thing on camera. <laughs> Yeah, so we went to find some ice at this place called the Cosmic Cafe. At least you didn't post the video anywhere or anything. Yeah. And you're not going to. And I bet you can guess how that turned out. I cannot believe that Bree posted the video of me getting hit with the hockey ball to the whole school. Everyone made fun of me. Everybody. I mean, Sophie made fun of me, and then of course Mason had to make fun of me, and then Hassani had to Blake. jump on the bandwagon. Blake. Blake. Are you here? Seriously? What are you? There what? You are. Oh, what? 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 What's going on? I have looked in like. 17 different places for you. I checked at Glee Club signups and at band auditions and I checked Weren't it. Weren't you gonna go to those anyways? Yeah, but anyway. Uh, we don't start work for like two more hours. What are we even doing here? Where's Taylor? Mm, I'm not sure. Right, it's your first day of work. Woo. Wait, how did Blake get in? Did you leave the door unlocked? Well, it's not exactly like we have any money to steal, so, I mean, should I be worried that someone's gonna break in here and make themselves a triple espresso? I mean, <laughs> actually, <laughs> now that you mention it, <laughs> I could use a double chocolate blended frozen s'mores mocha with <laughs> extra marshmallows. I don't work for another three minutes, so... <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Stay positive. Blake, wasn't today great? You were like the most popular kid at school. The whole school making fun of me for having a hockey ball smack my face isn't popularity. <laughs> but it was so funny. No one was making fun of you. Mm. <laughs> Blake, check this out. Someone made a remix of you getting knocked out. Looks like you're dancing. <laughs> that's, that's actually really impressive. You're like. <laughs> Bree, you ruined my life. Hey, they say there's no such thing as bad publicity. Oh, yeah, well, there, apparently there is. <laughs> oh, Bree, are you sure that you signed up for every single after school club? Like, of course, I have to go make sure my name's on the list for the botany club. Oh, good catch, okay. So, uh, just listen, <laughs> um, this is weird, but um, I know what it feels like to be embarrassed. So, and you know, like the most important thing to remember right now is that it's not a good idea to try to get revenge. <sighs> Time for revenge. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> Mr. K, finally. Hey, Taylor. How was your first day of school? It's totally normal. It's the stuff happening after school that's getting weird. I see. Yeah, he's planning some sort of crazy revenge plan on his sister. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Me? I, well, you're the one in charge here. I suppose I am. But I think you're the right person to fix this problem. Yeah. 
I already tried talking to him and he wouldn't even listen. Taylor, have I ever talked to you about wisdom before? Yeah, Mr. K. Wisdom means like making the right choices, like obeying the law. That's kind of right, but wisdom is more than just following the rules. Wisdom picks up where the rules stop. What does that mean? Imagine the rules are like a signpost on a hiking trail, pointing us which way to go. Okay. Wisdom is different though. Wisdom ah, is what you get by listening to someone who's hiked the trail before. They wouldn't just tell you which path to take, they would talk about where the path gets dangerous. They'd talk about what kind of plants and animals you'd see along the way. And they'd point out the best view for a great sunset. Uh, that's uh, kind of like what God does for us through all of our life. And it's what God wants us to do for others. I think Blake needs someone with experience to give him a little wisdom. And on that note, Mrs. Kirby and I are going hiking tonight. I'll be back for closing. To adventure! Great. Time for my first day on the job. Um, did you change? Yeah. I have to dress professionally for my first official day of work. Hmm. By the way, do you know if Blake's doing okay? Yeah, I think he's just in the back getting some more boxes of comics, but uh, be careful. Okay, Phase one, in the books. Okay, Blake, this isn't- <laughs> So check out, this is what I did. So I hid in a box, right? And then, and then I had the camera out, and all of a sudden, boom, just slime just went everywhere, and I totally just got okay. it. And here, just check it out, you want to check Blake, it out? Blake, she's- Okay, so you know what? Actually, I gotta move on to phase two. Phase two, yeah. You're not done? Of course I'm not done. She embarrassed me, now I have to embarrass her. <gasps> I need to show all her friends. You know what, I need to show her science teacher, maybe I'll show the principal Blake! at some point. This isn't wise. What are you talking about? What do you mean it's not wise? I mean, I don't think that hurting Bree the same way that you were hurt is going to make anything any better. Okay, but she- and, and besides, I tried to say something earlier and no one would listen. Like usual. And another thing! I'm giving Cosmic Cafe a one-star review on- Blake, did you do this? Look, I thought- How could you? Bree, no wait, Bree, Bree! <sighs> She deserved it. Really? Just, just leave me alone. I don't think I'm very good at this. Hey everyone, I'm Jackson. We're talking about wisdom today, so I've hopped on a plane to tell you a story about a wise guy from the Bible named Joseph. Let's start where his story takes off. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one. Really though, we are uh, cleared for takeoff, over. Joseph's journey began when he was just a kid. Joseph had a gift, that God would send him special messages in dreams, and Joseph could understand them. Uh, we have reached cruising altitude, over. Because of his gift, Joseph made an unwise choice. He bragged about himself. A lot. He bragged so much that his 11 older brothers got really angry with him. Uh, hang on passengers, it looks like there's a storm coming up, over. Things got stormy in Joseph's life, too. Joseph's brothers totally overreacted and actually sold him to some people going by. Joseph was taken to Egypt to live as a servant, and his life was really unfair. He had to work hard as a servant for his boss named Potiphar. Joseph could have unwisely complained, argued, and fought with Potiphar, but what do you think would happen then? Potiphar would not have been happy. Over. Okay. Instead, Joseph made the wise choice to trust God and work hard without complaining. So after that, everything was okay. Over. Not exactly. 
One day, someone accused Joseph of a crime. Joseph was innocent, but Potiphar believed the other person instead. Whoa! Where did that come from? And Joseph was sent to jail. He did the right things, but still went to jail? Why would God let that happen? Over. Joseph probably wondered that too. What might have happened if Joseph chose to just give up? If he stopped trusting God, maybe chose to get angry with God and be mean to others? Just giving up? I never thought of that. Wait, that's a terrible idea! We crash! Yeah. Joseph knew that too. Unwise choices can really ruin our lives. So he kept on following God. He kept on helping people. In fact, because he lived so wisely, Joseph was put in charge of the jail. And then one day, the Pharaoh, ruler of Egypt, needed help to understand a dream he had. Hey, that's Joseph's gift! Exactly. And because Joseph had lived wisely, he was ready to help the Pharaoh. In the end, Joseph became second in command of all Egypt. He saved the country from running out of food during a famine, and he even ended up reconnecting with his brothers and forgiving them. Whew, that's a lot of wise choices. Uh, bright skies and sunshine ahead, folks. Over. Like Joseph, we can't control what happens to us in life. People will embarrass us. Bad things will happen. Storms will come up. But we can choose to respond to those things in a wise way because God shows us how to live wisely. Joseph learned from his mistakes and from the things that happened to him, but most important of all, Joseph trusted God. God is where wisdom comes from, and so the better we know him, the easier it will be to make wise choices. And we've landed safely, everyone. Hope you had a great trip. See you soon on Elevate Airlines. That's my cue. See you all next time. Excuse me. Yeah. Blake, just, just, just hear me out, okay? Mm -hmm. Bree is headed here now. Nope, I'm out. Blake, don't go. Why do I have to talk to her? Because she's your sister, and, and because I think that talking about all this is the wise thing to do. <laughs> okay, okay, why do you care so much all of a sudden? Because I know how this goes. Bree does something wrong that hurts you, and then you try to get revenge. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I never broke any rules. Okay? So I don't, I don't see how I did anything wrong. Okay, that's just it. Wisdom picks up where the rules stop. You know, there's, there's no law against eating ice cream for every meal, but we don't because it isn't wise. Wait, do you guys serve ice cream here? I can't remember if I saw it. We, have, we have two flavors, but now is not the time. Blake, what do you think would happen if you just embarrassed Brie right now? <laughs> uh, easy. People would forget about the video. I would have a fresh start, and then people would finally think I'm cool. Okay. Uh, I had a friend named Emma back in Oregon before we moved here. Oregon, Oregon, where's Oregon? Focus. Okay. And one day, I heard her making a joke about me to some of her friends. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, I was really mad. But instead of going and talking to her about it, I started a rumor about her to get revenge. Ah, see? You got revenge too. Mm -hmm. And do you know what happened? Uh, yeah, you got revenge, you won, and then you felt great afterwards. Yeah, uh, the opposite. Uh, she was so hurt that she tried to get back at me again, and then I was mean to her again, and then after a while we both felt terrible, and then we weren't friends anymore. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna happen to me. Okay, Bree's my sister. Mm -hmm. And you're her brother, so. What kind of brother do you want to be? Besides, I know you haven't posted the video yet, and I think you already know the right thing to do, Blake. I have washed my hair three times, and I'm still finding slime in it. Hey, Bree, uh... I'm sorry. Thanks, but I don't know if sorry is enough. I don't even know if I should go to school tomorrow because everyone will have seen your video and but I But I didn't don't... post it. 
And I'm not going to. Here. You deleted it? Yep. Look, listen, I... I didn't like the way that you showed everybody that video of me, but that doesn't give me the right to embarrass you. You know, when I shared that video of you, Blake, I really didn't think about how it would make you feel. I guess I should say I'm sorry too. I, I forgive you. So, <laughs> um, what now? Now it's time for ice cream. Do you want cinnamon raisin or apricot? Okay, you have to talk to Mr. Kirby about getting some better ice cream flavors. <laughs>